Jimmy Carter was enjoying peanut butter at home as his grandson predicted the oldest living United States president was nearing the end of his life, RadarOnline.com can reveal. The wheelchair-bound former politician and peanut farmer, 99, has been surrounded by family and friends since he entered hospice care more than a year ago. Paige Alexander, the CEO of Carter's nonprofit organization, the Carter Center, provided an update on his health Wednesday. She told the hosts of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution's podcast, Politically Georgia, that there really hasn't been a significant change in Carter's condition, and noted that he will always be one bad cold away from the end. Carter has survived metastatic brain cancer, liver cancer and suffered other health scares, including a fall in 2019 that led to brain surgery. The 39th U.S. president was being provided palliative measures if he's in pain, but nothing else, Alexander said. He is just the same remarkable man. He has always been out living and surprising us all. Jason Carter also spoke out about his grandfather's condition this week at a mental health forum at the Carter Center in Atlanta, Georgia. My grandfather is doing okay, Jason, 48, said on Tuesday. He has been in hospice, as you know, for almost a year and a half now, and he really is, I think, coming to the end. I've said before, there's a part of this faith journey that is so important to him, Jason continued. There's a part of that faith journey that you only can live at the very end, and I think he has been there in that space. Jason also reflected on a conversation he shared with his grandfather while they watched baseball together earlier this year. I said, Papa, you know, people ask me how you're doing, and I say I don't know, he recalled, and he said, well, I don't know myself. So, he is still there, Jason added. He went on to express gratitude for those who reached out to the family after his grandmother, Rosalind Carter, passed away in November 2023 at the age of 96. The outpouring of love and support that we, as a family, received from people in this room and from the rest of the world was so remarkable and meaningful to us, Jason said of Rosalind, Jimmy's high school sweetheart and wife of 77 years. And it really turned that whole process into a celebration. The former president emerged from hospice care to make a rare public appearance at his late wife's funeral, where he sat beside the couple's four children. Carter grew up on a peanut farm outside the small town of Plains, Georgia, and joined the U.S. Navy before entering the political field as a Democrat. After serving a term as governor of his home state, he went on to become president from 1977 to 1981. 